Hey guys, Jennifer here. I wanted to talk to you guys very quickly about what I just found out today about um, the bill passing in New York to allow abortion up to birth. Um, I feel like this is an emergency for our nation. I feel completely broken hearted in the spirit. My heart is just breaking right now for how um, you know, our nation could have gotten to this point where we are so cold hearted that, you know, we've always been, we've always grieved and been broken over uh, abortion happening in our nation. But the fact that somebody could actually say it's okay to, to kill a baby up until birth and that this was legalized in New York today. Some of you may not know this. Yesterday, actually, it was signed. The bill was signed for New York. People in New York, they can they can have an abortion up to birth. And I feel like this is an emergency. That's why I said emergency, because I want you guys to be on here. Like this is a big deal for our nation right now. And I just started crying to the Lord and I said, God, how could our hearts have gotten this cold, right? And I wanna ask you guys to fast with me. I actually haven't eaten all day. I have no hunger and I'm starting a fast just like the people of Nineveh fasted. You know, when Jonah preached to them, and God said, go and tell them to repent. And I'm just in the spirit right now. I just want to call a fast, guys, a three-day fast, just three days. You know, three days, the people of Nineveh, they fasted and they cried out. They didn't drink anything. They didn't eat anything. I'm not saying you have to do it like that. I'm saying just be led because, you know, we have to respond to what's happening in our land and we have to do something. We can't sit here and then just keep cooking dinner while babies are dying and saying this is okay you know we've gotten we've gotten complacent with it you know even my children like talking about issues going on in the world like I've even heard my 12 year old son say things like we're just having to get used to it mom we just have to get used to it because it's everywhere and I've just had to I just had to learn how to deal with it and I said son no we don't have to just get used to this we don't have to deal with this we have the right as a people, as a nation, to call out to God and ask for mercy. You know, God desires mercy and not sacrifice. And I believe, guys, as we pray and as we fast, and I just wanted to get on here with you today and just cry for a minute. And we'll still have Awaken the Heart tomorrow. But I'm asking for supernatural things to happen. And I want you to join with me as we fast for three days. Fast as you are led. Fast anything. Just please pour your heart out to the Lord. And I want to ask the Father for this. Number one, Father, that the heart of these people that passed this bill would repent. That they would turn and that they would cancel this. Lord, that they would cancel this bill, that they would overturn it. Lord, that something would happen supernaturally in their hearts, a visitation, Lord, an awakening. God, you can stir the heart of any person. You can awaken any person, Lord. You showed up, Jesus, to Saul. You showed up to Saul, Lord. You showed up to him, Father. Jesus appeared to him. And so why are you persecuting me? So I ask you, Lord, that you would appear to these people, Lord, in New York that has passed this bill and any state, Lord, that would be trying to follow in their footsteps and say, oh, yeah, now we have, you know, some some fuel and and some leeway to push this forward in our government. Lord, I pray for the conviction of the Holy Spirit upon every governor right now that they wouldn't even dare touch this in Jesus' name. Let the fear of God come upon this nation. My God, let the fear of God come upon our leaders in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask that you would give them a visitation and experience, that they would see Jesus, that you would open their eyes, Lord. Make them see what they're doing, Lord. Make them wake up. Make them see. Make them wake up. I can't tolerate this. I cannot. I am so heartbroken. And I've always been heartbroken over abortion, guys. But I'm broken because the heart of the America has grown cold that they could do something like this. It is time to call forth the mercy of God to wake up a cold nation. Even in the last days, it said that the love of many would wax cold, guys. But I believe for awakening of the hearts, I do. God gave me those dreams. I know that that's what he wants to do, but he looks for an intercessor. And here we are. And I have the faith to cry out for a miracle in this situation. And I know you guys do too, that you're going to cry out with me for a miracle. That we would see this overturned. That we would see Roe versus Wade overturned. We don't have to tolerate this in our nation. We don't have to. We don't have to get used to this. We don't have to just bear with it. 
No. We say how it goes. We are the sons and daughters of God on the earth. This is our territory. This is our land. When Jesus comes back, he's going to create a new earth, guys, and a new heaven. And we're going to be the ones occupying it. This is our land. This is not the land of the enemy. This is not the land of sinners. This is the land of the righteous. And righteousness exalts a nation. It's time for us to stand up. I want to be a real leader in the body of Christ. Let me be a real leader that calls the church forth to see real things happen in the spirit. And you guys know that we have. And God keeps leading us and calling us and, and telling us exactly how to pray and intercede for what's what he wants. Excuse me. He is leading us and guiding us by his spirit. And I am feeling the power of God to call an intercession. Because you know, when the, when the people of Israel were in sin, guys, would not the prophets intercede? Would they not fast? Would they not call forth fasting? Would the people not get in sackcloth and ashes and rent their garments before the Lord for the atrocities that they had committed? You know, are we just going to be complacent? Or are we going to... Are we going to rent our garments and say this can't be? No. Are we going to fast and cry before the Lord and say, God, please help this nation to wake up. I know it seems like it's gotten darker and darker, but I believe that the light gets brighter. I know that and I believe that. And I believe maybe yesterday that this was a final straw for the Christians to wake up and believers to wake up and say, we have got to pray. We've really got to get serious. We've got to fast. We've got to pray. And I believe these three days we will see something happen in the spirit. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it, guys. And I know that you believe it too. There's got to be hope. There's got to be salvation. God, you deserve, you desire mercy and not sacrifice. And one of the things I want to ask the Lord is for something supernatural to happen for these babies. These babies that, that people are going to try to abort up until their birth, up until 10 seconds before they come out, nine months pregnant, 10 seconds. And these doctors are going to try to kill these babies. Here's what I'm going to believe and here's what I'm asking for. Now, this happened a long time ago in history with a group called the Jansenists. The Jansenists, not the Jansenists, the Jansens. You guys may have heard about this. Literally, people persecuted them in the streets and tried to kill them. They tried to kill them with swords. They tried to kill them by puncturing them, and they could not puncture their skin, for their skin was like steel. Their skin was unpuncturable. And here's what I'm asking, and I've already cried out to the Lord about it. As soon as I heard, I said, God. Just like you caused those people that were prophesying of the glory of God and prophesying of Jesus in the streets. Lord, just like you came on the Jansenists, Lord, and they were unable to be killed. We hear the stories of the martyrs that were unable to be burned. I'm asking the Lord that these, these babies would be unable to be punctured. That that metal rod they try to use to stick in their head can't puncture their skin. That their skin will be as steel. This is what I want to ask the Lord. I want you guys to agree with me because I have big faith and I believe for it. And I know you guys believe for it too. That the babies will not be able to be killed in Jesus name. And let it be a sign to this government that God says, no, this is not okay. Let it be a sign, God. Let there be signs, Lord, that these babies cannot be murdered. They can't be killed. And it be a sign to our nation. This is not okay. And it is sin before the Lord God. And we need to have fear of God. We need to repent. God is gracious and he is merciful. But he will not tolerate this murder. And we as his children should not tolerate either. And third, I'm asking for God to convict these mothers. That they would not go into these clinics. That they would not that they would have a dream, that they would have visions, Father. Release dreams and visions upon these mothers. Let them see their baby. The day before they're planning to go into clinics, Lord, let them see the face of their child. Let them feel the spirit of that beautiful little heart. And let them say, I'm going to welcome this baby. Whatever comes and I'm going to raise this child because this is a life inside of me. May that demonic spirit, that perverted, perverted murdering spirit be broken off of young mothers. 
that hope would come in their hearts that they can do this, that they can raise that child, that God will help them. So I want you guys to fast with me three days. Fast however you want. Starting right now. If you could start right now, please start right now. I haven't eaten today. I haven't been able to eat. You're right. It makes you sick to your stomach. I saw somebody say that. And my son even said it made him sick to his stomach. Guys, my son, the 12 year old, and my daughter started crying when I told them what happened. Because I will not protect them from the reality of what's going on in the spirit. I tell them anything that they want to know. Unless Holy Spirit really tells me not to. I want them aware of what the enemy's trying to do to their generation. I want them to stand up. I want them to be strong. They started crying and praying with me. I said, guys, I'm believing for miracles that the moms won't go into those clinics and that these babies will be protected because this generation is called forth, guys. These are the dark horses. This generation has to come forth and we must be the ones to help them birth. You guys saw that dream? You heard that dream? The dark horses that I just had, if you didn't listen to it, please go back and listen to it. It's like the, it's like the second video back on my timeline. The dark horses. And remember at the end of the dream that these dark horses turned into a cow and they wanted to birth something forth. But they couldn't birth without me standing at the head as the intercessor. And without my son Samuel coming behind and helping the process of the birth. And Samuel represents the prophets. Guys, the intercessors and the prophets have to come together right now to see this birthing of this youth harvest. And I'm telling you that this attack and this abortion bill being signed is an assignment by hell itself to try to stop the harvesters coming forth in the spirit. But we say and we declare that hell, the gates of hell, shall not prevail against the church and we say that this generation is going to come forth and we serve hell notice right now that we take authority on this earth and we are shutting every door right now that he's trying to open and we're going to start standing up in the power of God and prophesying and decreeing and at the Awaken the Heart sessions we're going to get serious and we're going to get down to business and we're going to take this land back for the Spirit of God and Jesus will be glorified in this nation because the Lord promised me and he has promised many of you and many prophets. He promised me and he said, that he has heard us. That our prayers have been heard by heaven. And that he is sending revival to America. He showed me that on May 5th, 2017, guys. May 5th, 5-5, five, five, double grace. Where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. And I know that God is bringing an awakening. And I know that he's bringing salvation to America. But we can't just sit back and say, all is well. Let's just eat and drink and be merry. Because we have everything we need. God has prophesied to us. Everything is great. Let's just drink of the joy of God, which we will do. But we just can't sit back and say, we are content with the way things are going. And we'll just ride this prophetic word out. We have to rise up as intercessors and see and hear what what the Lord is saying and what he's doing and we have to stand as watchmen on the walls and we have to decree the word of God and we have to pray and we have to intercede my God may our prayer meetings overflow our conferences my God would the spirit of God come upon a people again that the fiery burning ones would rise up and begin to take authority in the spirit my God where are the earth shakers Would the fire of God come upon a people again? Where are the ones that burn, that cry out in the midst of the conferences? Where is the crying out to God? Where is the fire? Where are the flames? Where are the burning ones? Where are they? Come on, guys. It's time to start burning with passion. It's time to start burning. What's it going to take for us to wake up and stand up? What's it going to take? How much more? How much more are we going to sit back and take as the church? And these are the dark horses that are rising up. And these intercessors, you intercessors on here. And I don't care if you're not an intercessor. get Become one for the next three days. Become an intercessor. And cry out of your heart. Listen, it doesn't have to be planned prayers by the mind. Let your heart talk to God. Let your heart talk. Let your heart talk. And sometimes it's just the crying and the weeping and the tears. And I feel the fire of God all over me. And earlier when I was crying about this, and I said, Lord, this can't be, God. This can't be. And I've always cried about abortion, guys. I've always cried about that. You guys know that. But what, what hit me the most was the coldness of the heart of Americans that rallied and cheered that they're going to kill babies. Cheering. What's it going to take, guys?
face. May this shake the dark horses of this nation that God is wanting to birth forth that will preach the truth. I want to preach the truth, guys. I'm not going to do a nice little thing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to just get on here and... and not going to do it. Oh, Jesus, God. Have mercy. Have mercy. We have to cry out for this land. Revival's going to come. Awakening's going to come. But it comes to the ones that ask. Ask for the rain. We're going to ask for God to pour out mercy on this nation and not judgment. I know all the words are going to come out that, that judgment might come upon America. But, but God can have mercy. You understand we're in the season of mercy. You understand. You understand that. And God will hear us. I know that. Because we stop our busy lives and we say, this is the most important thing happening right now, Lord, in our nation. This has never been heard of before. Never. Never, guys, has this happened in history that abortion has been made legal up until birth, the moments of birth. Come on. It's time to wake up. We've got to do this. We've got to pray. We've got to fast. Just like when Jonah went and he preached to Nineveh. God gave them a season to fast and pray and repent of their sins. That they would turn their hearts back to God and be saved. And God would spare an entire city. He will spare an entire nation. We're going to fast and pray for three days. Be led by Holy Spirit. Pray and pray and pray. Put on worship music. Think about those babies. And let your heart pray for the salvation of those moms and those people in the government in New York. And all of our government leaders. Right now there is, there is such a battle in the spirit in our government. You guys know this. We cannot sit idly by. We must be on the forefronts. We must be the forerunners in the spirit. To call forth the plans of God, and to speak it in the earth. Because what we say and decree will happen. We need to know that, and we need to get serious with heaven, because we know that this is right to do. My God, every prayer meeting should be coming against this. Every prayer meeting. Everybody should be crying right now, the entire church. I pray for a spirit of unity and a spirit of truth, God. That we'd wake up and come together in this time in Jesus' name. I feel that intercession, guys. I have no hunger. I just feel it. I could cry all day. I know you guys could too. So this is what we're going to do. And I'll get on here and we'll pray tomorrow for Awaken the Heart, okay? We'll pray. I'm not going to teach. I can't. How can I teach right now? I can't. I can't do anything but cry. We'll get on here and we will ask the Lord for mercy. And we're going to talk to him and talk to him and talk to him and decree it. Until we see a change in this nation. You guys, please share this, please. Get people on here that wants to join us. Three days, starting right now. Three days. So go till Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Saturday night, evening, dinner time. Okay, you can break the fast if you want to or you can keep going. It's up to you. But this is an emergency in the spirit. And the only reason that bad things happen is when good people do nothing. And guys, we are good people. It's time for us to stand up and be leaders. You guys share, share, share this right now. Share this right now. This is important. Share this right now. I want you to take a minute. I want you to hit share right now. Please hit share right now and share this right now. <laughs> God is so beautiful, you know. Even with all the aborted babies that have happened in the millions since 1973. You know that they get to grow up in heaven. And that they're in the hands of Jesus. They're wrapped up with him and they're happy and I know that. 
And the amazing thing is, is that God forgives these mothers when they repent. He forgives them and they get to go to heaven and they get to be with their baby forever. And it's the most beautiful story of redemption. And I love that. But there must be repentance. There must be repentance. There has to be. There has to be. And repentance is a beautiful thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. And God adores it when repentance happens from a wonderful, broken heart. But please share this. Please share this. You may not know who I am, and, and this is the first time you've ever seen me. But my name is Jennifer Martin. If you don't know who I am, please follow me. And we are following hard after God. We are following hard after Holy Spirit. We are following hard after what heaven is saying. I will never make up a nice little word. I want y'all to know that. I will never make up a nice little word and a nice little teaching because it sounds good. I will only ever talk about what I've seen and heard and the Lord's given me dreams for in the Spirit for the body of Christ. I feel Him. I know Him. I love Him with all of my heart. And you will get genuine, heartfelt, truthful, spirit-filled ministry from me. And if you need that in your life right now, this is where he can find it. We do these sessions every week. Tomorrow we're doing an Awaken the Heart session. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for this. But our ministry is called Contagious Love International. ContagiousLoveintl.com is our website. So you guys share this. I'm going to go. Uh, I just want to continue praying. And uh, when when I'm praying and in prayer, I might just jump on here spontaneously over the next three days. And I'll just jump on with you guys. So be watching for me. And we'll pray together. So remember, we're praying for three things. That one, the mothers would be convicted. And not go into these clinics to receive an abortion all the way up to birth. That too, even if they walk in there, that the babies would not be harmed and they would supernaturally have skin of steel and the doctors won't know what to do because they will not be able to murder these children and they won't know what to do. And they'll have to birth them. They'll have to let them be born in Jesus' name. And number three, that our governmental leaders would be convicted by the Holy Spirit Overturn Roe v. Wade. Overturn this, this bill in New York. And repent before God. A person is a person no matter how small. A spirit is a spirit no matter how small. That they would wake up and see it and have visitations from Jesus himself. That's what I'm believing for. That's what I'm asking God for. And pray whatever else you want to pray and add all the details you want to add in. Ask heaven for whatever the Holy Spirit leads you, okay? And let's do this. And let's see something happen. If Nineveh can turn, and if God can hear the prayers of Abraham where he said, if I would find, you know, ten righteous, I will, I will spare. Right? He said he would spare lots, a uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, he would spare them if he found ten righteous, but he didn't. He only found nine. Come on. The Lord is going to spare America. There's more than ten righteous in this nation. But we must cry out for repentance. Okay, guys. Keep praying. We're starting now. We're starting the fast right now. Starting the fast right now. Lord, supernaturally, give us no hunger and just a hunger to see something happen in this nation and see this overturned in Jesus' name. Thank you, guys. I will go back and read all of your comments. I saw you guys putting so many wonderful things up there. I will go back and read them so that I can be in agreement with the things that you were putting because I, I love your heart and I know your hearts and I want to know what God is... <laughs> So 
this is me all day. <sighs> you could do a complete fast if you want to. However you want to do it. I know I'm probably going to do a complete fast. I'm probably only going to be drinking water. Maybe coffee. So I can have energy to just keep praying and going. But I just don't feel like eating. I just don't. But do what you want, okay? We're going to see something happen. We're going to see something happen. In Jesus' name, I believe it. I hope for it. I hope for it with all my heart. Okay, guys, share this. We'll be on tomorrow, okay, to pray. Awake in the heart, 3 o'clock Central Time. It's 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll pray. We'll talk. We'll flow with Holy Spirit. And of course, I'll minister to you guys as he leads. I'm not going to ignore you guys. If the Lord gives me words of knowledge, we'll pray. We'll pray for each other. Okay, we're going to just be completely open to heaven. Let Holy Spirit flow. So make sure you mark it in your calendars to be on here to pray with me tomorrow, okay? 3 o'clock Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining. So last second, if you didn't hear what I talked about and you guys are just jumping on, go back and listen to the beginning. Okay, I love you so, so much. And we know that it is time to awaken the heart in Jesus' name. I love you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.